Hey there, it's Board Game Dave. Welcome to the first ever Solo Play Sunday. Today I'll be soloing a game called Azul, which is a fantastic tile placement game by Michael Kiesling, one of my favorite uh, designers. This game is currently ranked 57th best board game in the world on Board Game Geek, and it's also ranked the seventh best family game, which is really incredible. So uh, definitely worth checking out if you have a family, which I hope that all of you do. Anyways, this game typically plays from two to four players, but today I'll be using the solo variant designed by Ricky Royal at boxofdelights.net. I'll have a link to that uh, variant in the description below. Before we begin, I thought you should know that Solo Play Sundays are for charity. At the end of the game, I'll donate about half of my score to a charity, and the other half will go toward microloans for entrepreneurs in developing countries through an organization called Kiva.org. Kiva, by the way, is the charity for today. I'll talk more about Kiva at the end of the video, but if you have a recommendation for a charity I should check out for the next Solo Play Sunday, let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, Let's get to it. All right, so in this variant, I get to go first. So I'll take these three star tiles, and then the AI is gonna take its turn. Now the AI is looking for the biggest set of tiles it can take from the factory uh, display here. So naturally it's gonna take those three yellows. Now the AI doesn't get a player board, it doesn't score points, it just removes uh, tiles on its turn. That's all it does. So now it's back to me. The only set left it, uh, are these two yellows. I'll probably just take those like so, and put these in the discard pile. Now, if there, if there are no sets of tiles in the factory display, the AI is gonna go look in the discard pile for the biggest set. If there are no sets in the discard pile either, like here, it's just gonna take a random tile from the leftmost, or in our case, the topmost factory tile. That was a lot, this was a kind of a weird setup, so bear with me here. But we'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll roll my D8, this is from Everdell Deluxe, and this is from Sagrada. Four. One, two, three, four. So the star goes away, and these go into the discard. Uh, now, I'm probably going to draw from here. Now, if I take this, just like normal, I take a negative one point at the end of the round. But if the AI ends up taking from the center first, the AI goes first the next round, which I don't want. So, I think what I'll do is start working on this tile. So I'll take two blacks from the middle, take that penalty. Right? So now the AI sees that there's no sets out here, but there's a set, two sets here in the middle. So we'll say odds on the left, even will be right. Odds and evens. Odds is red. There we go, back to me. I think I will take this one blue actually first, put these in the center. AI takes the two blues. I'll take another black tile there. AI goes, we'll say odds, evens. Evens is the star. There we go. And I've got a red. Now, I did just check the rule book. I can choose to place this down here if I want to. I'm not sure if I want to commit to red, but actually, uh, color wise, it does work out. I do want to be adjacent to this black. So, red actually worked out fine for me. So, let's get to scoring here. I've got one point. I've got another point over here. I've got some stars. That just gives me one more point. And then that's it. Wow. Not a great scoring round. And then I'm actually going back. Uh, a point so I'm back to two points that was not a great starting round at all we'll see if things get better in round two all right we're in round two I've got two points and I'm ready to take my first turn I think I'm gonna actually take these two black tiles first because there's many many ways to get two blue tiles so I'll get around to that later the AI sees one set two sets three sets so we'll say one two three four five six okay one two three so AI takes this to blue and these go away. I think I'm happy to take those two, but then the AI is gonna pull from the center, which I don't want. Uh, I'd rather go first every round, although I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not, honestly. Why don't we try, I'll go from the center. I'll take that negative one and put my two blue tiles here. That leaves the AI with that pair of blues, like so. Now there's three yellows in the, discard pile that I can't take that is really really unfortunate I think I'm not playing this very well perhaps hmm well I'd like to take one of these yellows why don't I put this where should I put it I'll put this one here and then the AI is going to take these three yellows back to me I do need to take some red I need to take some black too so I'll take the black first well 
let me think. So if I take these red, what's gonna happen is the AI is gonna see that there's no pairs uh, in the center in the discard, so it'll take one from here, which I prefer. So we'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, all right, well, that's yellow. And this goes in, which that works out well for me because I can take the black. Now, which one do I wanna finish? The harder one? I think so, because it's two points either way. AI is gonna take the pair of stars, I'll take the red, and then the AI takes the blue. Wow, I avoided any kind of major calamity, thank goodness, I thought <laughs> I'd have to take some negatives there. Yellow comes over, that gives me two points. Blue scores me, I get three plus two for five points. I've got this black one completed, that's four points like that, up to 13, and then I will subtract one, and I'm at 12 points. I'm not off to a great start for real, but uh, yeah, yeah, we'll have to see how things go here in the third round. All right, we're in round three. I'm going first again. I see two stars I'd like to take up there. The AI is looking and sees three sets of pairs. We'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'll reroll seven or eight. Seven, seven, one. Okay, that's this one. Ooh, three reds in the middle. That is something I am interested in, actually. Is that going to work out for me? I think it's going to work out really well, actually. So I'll take these three, put them in that fourth row, take that. Now we're back to the AI. Sees those two pairs. We'll say odds for yellow, evens for black. Even is black. That's fine by me, because I am mainly just interested in getting these reds. And I don't want these yellows because I can't place them anywhere. So I'll take this red, push those yellows into the discard, put that there. That'll make the AI take those four yellows, which is great because I don't want them. And then I'll take this red. Ooh, wait a minute. I could take that black instead and then roll the dice and hope that the AI doesn't take that red. Hmm. There's a 25% chance that it does. Or here's a better thought. Oh, this is even better. So I can take this black tile, push these into the middle, the AI sees the pair of stars, and takes that, and then I take the red. There we go. Now, we'll say odds, even. Odds for blue, evens for black. I hope it's even. No, I hope it's odd. Ah, it's even six. All right, so unfortunately, I can't place this anywhere, and I break that tile. All right, well, not bad. I'm very happy that I got so much of this completed. That's great. So, we'll move the star over there. I've got one, two, three, four, five points. I've got this here for five more points like that, 22. I've got this red one. That gives me one, two, three, four, five, six points, 28. And then I've got this complete at the bottom. That gives me five points straight up and down. So that's, uh, let's see, 33 points. And then subtract two. And I'm at 31, not too bad. Okay, cruising in around four, I see a triplet. I think that's the one I'm gonna take. Put that right here, my fourth row. The AI sees, let's see, one, two, three, no, one, two, three, four pairs. So we'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, what on earth is happening here? Oh my gosh, hold on a second. Here's what I like to do if that happens. I Mix these up, drop one out, and that goes back in the bag. My goodness, everybody, I'm sorry about that. So there are only three pairs uh, in the center. We'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, another seven. Seven, I really should have a D6 around for this. Wouldn't that make more sense? Wow, another seven. Two, okay, one, two. There we go, and there we go. I want these two reds to go right there the ai sees one last pair remaining the yellows and takes that and then that puts three blue in the center which i really like that is awesome three blues right there i'll take that negative all right the ai sees a pair of black in the middle and takes that i like this so i'll take that and then the ai looks over to this tile and take a singleton one two three four five six seven eight 
All right, adds a seven. My goodness, what's up with these sevens? Takes the red, which is exactly what I was hoping would happen. So I can just take one red, like so. We'll say for the AI, one, two, three, four, and five, six. Five, all right, so that's that. Now, I checked the rule book. I am allowed to break this, uh, like I said. So do I put this here and just hope I can finish it going to this last round? I mean, I think, I think that's doable. All right, so here we go. I've got one, two, three, four, five, 36. I've got four points across like that to 40. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, 46. And this final star gives me four plus three, seven more points, takes me to 53. Minus one, of course. There we go, 52 points and going into the last round of the game. All right, so I'm very happy to be going first this round because I see that I'm gonna be able to get my three red for that. That'll give me five red tiles in my uh, tableau and my mosaic, which gives me 10 extra points. Every row is two points, every column is seven points at the end of the game. Okay, for the AI, they see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four pairs like that. So eight takes these away. That leaves me with fewer reds, but I will take this one and place it here. There we go. The AI is looking up here. So he's, we'll say odds for blue, evens for yellow. Odds for blue, great. All right, so this is gonna be tricky. What I need to do is get these four blues down here. So how am I going to do that? I think what I need to do is go in now. Yeah, because otherwise AI is going to take those. So I'll take three, like so. Oh, goodness gracious, not that. Three there and the one negative there. Okay. The AI is looking for the last pair in the factory tiles, two yellows. Okay, I do not want to end up with those black tiles. That would not be great. So what can I do instead? Actually, no, this is going to work out fine because I'll lose a point, but that gives me five points and it fills a row, so I'm okay with that. AI takes the two red. Now I've got just a couple of tiles to deal with here. Well, I suppose that would give me a point there. And then we'll do odds for yellow, evens for blue. Odds is yellow, and I'll take my blue tile there. This was not bad at all. Full context while I score for those of you who have made it this far, I just played the solo game um, right before this one time. It, it had been my first time since July and I really botched it. Like I just made really big goofs, not rules mistakes, but just wasn't playing well. And it was to the point I thought, I can't upload this, this is so bad. So here I am trying again, twice in one day. Hopefully this goes better. <laughs> That's five, six, seven, 60. I've got this red one there for three points, 63. It's already going better. And then I go back two points for these two tiles. It takes me to 61 and let's do some end game scoring here. So each row I've completed, that's just the one, gives me two points. Column, uh, each column is seven points. I've got one right there for seven. It takes me to 70. And then if I have five tiles of the same color, I've got one, two, three, four, five red. That's 10 points up to 80. Now, one more star tile would have gotten me this here and I would have been uh, at 90 at least, but unfortunately it's just that one color red. So 80 is my score, 85 was the score to beat. Um, so pretty close, but I'm happy with 80. That is much better than my last play. So uh, there we go. And that was Azul. Many thanks to Ricky Royal for the great solo variant. Anyways, with a nice round score of 80, we're gonna send 50 of those dollars to Geneva, who lives in Mali. Mali, by the way, is surprisingly very close to Portugal, which is the setting for this game. Geneva is a mother of four who's been storing and selling fish in rural Mali for over 12 years. She's currently looking for a loan through Kiva.org so she can purchase and sell more fish in her village. So we'll take $50 and send that as a loan to Geneva, and then the other $30 we'll just give as a donation to Kiva.org, who facilitates these loans. Kiva is a charity I've been using since 2017, so I know them to be a reputable organization that does a lot of good around the world. If you have any questions about Kiva, you can ask me in the comments, or I'll leave a few links down in the comments below you can check out for yourself. Anyways, uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much for sticking around, and uh, yeah, have a great week, take care, and happy gaming. Bye.
send from above. You are the one I love.